Car Design News uh, organized the project and they were responsible for compiling all the different entries and submissions. There were literally thousands of sketches that were submitted. But what's kind of unique about this is that we have it in two stages. So the first stage, um, you submit your first entries and then we kind of make a, a short list. And then the professional designers from GM kind of mentor you through that and say, you know, maybe you can change this line or, you know, maybe you thought about doing this. And they selected the finalists who are going to join us here today. And then out of those finalists, we'll choose four winners. And the four winners will be offered a three-month internship at the General Motors Technical Center in Warren, Michigan. Well, they'll get the chance to work hand-in-hand -hand with, with the design team of each of the brands. They'll be able to get reviews from our global vice president, Ed Welburn, and hopefully, will inspire them as much as they inspire us. We're always looking for new talent. Uh, new talent is, is hard to find. We got competition entries from sources that we usually don't look for. And the interesting bit on that one is that talent comes from all kinds of angles and from all, all kinds of areas. And that is something that this competition enabled us to look at. We were looking very much in this brief, looking forward, looking beyond even the obvious. 2025 was kind of the, the realm that we, we wanted the students to, to explore and, and part of, of the challenge to them was to find what the brand values are currently, interpret them and then evolve them into the future and, and have their view on where the brand could be in such a time span. It kind of gets people in, um, into the mind frame that you work as a team, the fact that you have to take criticism sometimes and you kind of you turn that into something positive. The mentor actually suggest me to integrate sophisticated technology, more like a, a soft material, so that kind, of, that kind of sparks really inspires me to combine the different materials to, to generate a new spark for the, for the concept. We wanted them to look at the market, study the market, study the customer, and explain to us why their design fits the brand, fits the customer, and really speaks more than just a sketch. Of course the design values were very important. We always are looking for good proportions, uh, surface treatment, form language, the detail execution, the rendering styles, the general presentation. But it's more than just a pretty sketch. It was the, the holistic presentation that we were looking at. We saw a really great diverse range of work, both interior and exterior. Uh, you know, really great perspectives on what we uh, the students think the brand could be in the future. I started uh, having a inspiration as a humpback whale and started, uh, started my project like getting inspiration and being a pure and sculptural and I ended up doing my final like, design as a humpback whale. It's a very digital world and this competition is a great example of um, you know, how the digital world is taking this industry to new levels. I think uh, in the future technology is very advanced, we can imagine, so we should uh, image uh, the more future, future styling and future function, like something like this. We're just all really grateful that we had this chance to do this. Sometimes it's really hard to get exposure in the industry and just having this opportunity to be able to post on the internet, work on a project and talk with um, our mentors is, I don't know, it's kind of like what we grew up wanting to do when we were a little kid, so it's a really great experience.